Hey, I'm Josh Clark, and uh, I'm wondering, have you ever cut yourself really badly? And when you put hydrogen peroxide on your hand, you, through your tears of pain, thought, wow, that's really cool, that's foaming. I wonder why that's foaming. Inside your cells, inside your tissue and your blood, you have a cool little enzyme called catalase. And when catalase comes in contact with hydrogen peroxide, it breaks it down into its constituents, turning it into pure oxygen and water. When you cut yourself, you got a lot of catalase in your open wound because there's a lot of blood there and there's a lot of ruptured cells. So when you add that hydrogen peroxide, the catalase very efficiently breaks it down. Something like one molecule of catalase can create 200,000 reactions in hydrogen peroxide per second. It's a lot of foaming. And when it creates that oxygen gas, that turns into bubbles, which is why it foams. And the other stuff is just water running off. So, the next time you have a cut and you pour that on your hand, you can say, I know exactly what's going on. And ow, ow, that hurts. You can also do this, you don't need to cut yourself just for this kind of thing. By putting a piece of cut potato in a cup, pouring a little hydrogen peroxide on it, watching it foam, and getting very, very bored and asking yourself what you're doing with your life. You could also do it with liver, mm -hmm. if you want to do that. Pretty much anything that has a cell that has catalase in it will react with hydrogen peroxide. Pretty neat, huh? If you love this video, this whole YouTube channel is lousy with brain stuff videos and you're gonna love each and every one. Leave a nice little comment, maybe subscribe, or just sit here and watch brain stuff videos all day long.